Today's question is related to Revit architecture and creating very unique walls based on splines. The practical application is that they have to model a yacht, which is obviously going to need some very unique geometry. Well, let's jump over to Revit and take a look at how this is done. Now, first of all, I don't have any demo data sets of yachts. And second, I really don't have any experience modeling yachts. So I'm going to show kind of a start from scratch example of how this is done and hopefully it's applicable. Now to create a custom wall shape, you're going to go to the component option on the home ribbon. And from there you can hit the in place family option. This allows you to create uh, custom shapes and put them into any category. So I'll select walls and then give this particular wall a name, which could be anything you want. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and start modeling and we're in a modeling mode. You can see in the upper left hand corner I have different solid shapes that I can create. For this example we'll create a sweep which allows us to generate a path for the sweep to follow and a profile which is the shape of the sweep. So we'll start by sketching the path. Once I select that tool it gives me different uh, drafting items and one of them is a spline like tool. So now I can take that and kind of sketch out the path that I want my sweep to follow. Now I'm just going to create some kind of interesting curve, uh, but obviously you can put this path in, you can go back and adjust the different points, and you could also pick other geometry to create the path from. All right, now that I have the path, we need to create a profile. So I'll go up to my tools at the top here. You can see there's a sketch profile. Now you can load in different profile shapes. So you can actually create a profile family that's very unique to specifically what you need and then reuse it. Or you can just create the profile right here inside uh, this editing mode. So I'm going to go ahead and hit edit profile. Pick the elevation view I want to work from. So I'll go to elevation south. It switches my view and gives me a origin point to work from. It also shows me level markers so I get a good idea of height and space. Now I have the same drafting tools. I'll go ahead and pick a spline shape for this. And of course begin sketching this out. Now I'm doing this freeform just to show the concepts, but you might have something that you're selecting to create the shape from or some specific dimensions you're following. All of that should work out just fine. I think the key here with the profile is that it's a closed shape. Uh, it can't be open at any point, so you want to make sure that it's closed with whatever drafting tools or settings you use. Alright, so let's see here. Uh, the bottom didn't quite close correctly, so let me go back and grab one more spline. and We'll edit this just a little bit to make it close. But you'll see as I do this, you, you do have a lot of freedom about how these shapes are created. All right, I think that should do it. Now if I select it, you can see all the different uh, grip editing points to go back and make any necessary changes. But this is good for the purpose I'm showing. I'll go ahead and hit Finish Profile, which gets me out of the profile editing mode. So at this point, I have a sketch in plan, a, a path basically, and then I have a profile that's going to be swept along that path. So I'll hit Finish Sweep from my ribbon. Now I'm back to kind of the generic modeling mode, so I could put a void in or something. I'm going to hit Finish Model. And there is my wall created as an in-place family using two different spline curves. So if I switch to a 3D view, turn on my shading, that's what it looks like. Now because this is a fairly unique piece of geometry, you might be somewhat limited in what you can do. So it's probably not going to allow you to just drop a door and window in but you do have some strong capabilities. So it's a wall, it will schedule with other walls in the project. And if I go back into the edit and place mode, you can see that I can control visibility so I can have it uh, display a certain amount of detail from uh, the fine view to the coarse view if I choose to. Now I can also go in and continue modifying it, adding voids for holes and things if I do want to place doors in. And then lastly, I can apply material to it by going into my element properties. This will allow me to enhance its appearance amongst the other items in my project. So I'll come, come into material here, and I can pick from a list of available materials, or of course create my own. 
And I know that the side of the boat would probably not be built out of brick, but I'll select brick because it has uh, a nice color, which shows up well. It has a nice surface pattern, which also shows up well. So I'll go ahead and select the brick, finish out of there, finish my model, and then I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see this better. So the color changes based on the material settings, and you can start to see that hatch pattern being applied to it. All right, so that sums up how to create a unique wall shape based on spline geometry in Revit architecture.